In the name of Allah, in the name of the Almighty God, in the name of the Creator of our universe and of us, all praise is due to the architect of this universe. And so I greet you, my brothers and sisters, for we have all been created by the one Creator. With the greetings of peace to my believing and to my disbelieving brothers and sisters, peace be unto you. To my Hindu brothers and sisters, Namaste. To my Rastafarian brothers and sisters, Ja peace and Ja love. And to my Muslim brothers and sisters and all other denominations, I greet you with the greetings of peace in the Arabic language. Assalamu alaikum. Allah says, I wonder how can a person who is certain of death be happy. I wonder at a person who is certain of reckoning on the day of judgment but still accumulates wealth. I wonder at a person who is certain of going into the grave but still smiles without concern. I wonder at a person who is certain of this world's doom but still has tranquility in living in this world. I wonder at a person who is certain of the hereafter and its bounties but he still rests. I wonder at a person who is knowledgeable in his speech, but ignorant in his heart. I wonder at a person who cleans himself with water, but does not cleanse or cleanse his heart. I wonder at a person and a people who look at bad habits of others, but are unaware of the same bad habits within themselves. I wonder at a person who knows that Almighty God is aware of his actions, but he still commits sins. I wonder at a person who preaches to the people but does not preach to his own soul. I wonder at a person who knows that he will die alone, go into the grave alone, give a conks alone, but is still clearly engrossed with people who will not be able to help him. You see, brothers and sisters, all these people that Allah has said he wonders about, we meet them every day in our lives. And maybe we are all of them. Maybe each one of us are all of them. 
or which one would we choose to align ourselves to. But it's good to hear these sayings because it helps us to be more understanding and gain a lot more wisdom. I wonder at a person who is certain of going into the grave but still smiles without concern. Are you one? Ask yourself. I wonder how a person who is certain of death can be happy. Little things that we need to think about and especially those, as Allah says, who preach to us. And preaching is not only in the church or in the mosque. Preaching is anywhere where anyone is telling us about themselves or about ourselves or about others. Sometimes it's, they are called lectures. But lectures are nothing more but an art of preaching. And so those who preach to us, a lot of these things or these sayings that Allah says he wonders at is something that we really need to take into consideration in when we listen to what is being preached. Is that a person who is certain of death? Is that a person who is certain of the hereafter? Is that a person who is knowledgeable in his speech but ignorant in his heart? These are all little guidances that Allah gives us so that when we listen to people and we listen to our preachers and our pandits, we must know these things in order to believe what the person is actually saying. I wonder at a person, person who preaches to the people but does not preach to his own soul. See, that can be differentiated. We can know, we can observe these people. And it is something that is not only pertaining to preachers, but to pertaining to we ourselves. Those of us who would like to make others feel that they know and that they are sincere in what they do and they, that's what they preach. But automatically they form an opinion that since they preach that, they are that. And that's why Allah says, I wonder at a person who preaches and who is good in his speech but does not preach to his soul. Little things that we can listen to and use for our own lives. I wonder at a person who knows that he will die alone. Go into the grave alone. Give accounts of himself alone, but is still grossly engrossed with the people who cannot help him. Huh? Allah says, you know, I wonder at people like that, who knows that, you know, whatever they do and however they live, and when they die, everything is alone. Allah is telling us 
that in reality we are alone because we go alone, we leave here alone. And we have to give account of ourselves, as he has said here, alone. And he wonders that people like that, who are conscious of that, still have a whole set of people around them that can't do anything for them. Because if you wonder like this, you know, if you are conscious of the fact of what God is saying here, being alone, and you have people around you that cannot help you, what happens? You have to help them. So Allah says, I wonder at people who don't understand that they are alone, they will die alone, they will have to give account alone. But yet still, they follow and deal with people who can do nothing for them. I wonder at a person who cleans himself with water but does not cleanse his heart. You notice, again, Allah did not say, but does not cleanse his head. I wonder at a person who cleanses himself with water but does not cleanse his heart. It comes right back all the time to the heart. And if we understand that we must be able to consult our hearts, for our hearts has a language that Allah speaks to us in. You see the head from the time we get up in the morning, and the time we get back to bed at night, the head has already dealt with over a million different things. A million. Because that's how fast we think, that's how fast we get phone calls, we speak, we do things, we are attracted to this and have to do that. Over a million things by the time we go to bed at night. And so God always stresses on the heart because the head is in no position to be competent enough to help us to carry out the work and to serve, be a servant of our Creator. The head can be influenced so easily, but when you have something in your heart, you must try it and something is in your heart, and feel it in your heart, no one can influence it. It cannot be influenced. Only the head can be influenced. And that's what we see in our world today. People influencing others to do what they preach and to do and listen to their speech. And so it's very difficult for us, that is why Allah says, I wonder at a person who knows that he will die alone and he will be in the grave alone and still surrounds himself with people who can do nothing for him, listening to their speech, hearing what they say. It's on all levels, brothers and sisters, on all levels. And, the, and, and because it's on, on, on all levels, and the head is used to influence the head, because that's all the head can influence, the other heads. The head cannot influence the heart. So when Allah says, I wonder at a person who cleanses or cleanses himself with water, but does not cleanse his heart. That's the part that is receiving the guidance directly from God. Because the head has so many things that it's dealing with. And many times, whatever it's dealing with, it's not appropriate for us and our lives. 
So we need to use our hearts to sort out what our heads sometimes try to influence us to do and what other heads try to influence our heads to do. It's only the heart that we can turn to for guidance in a practical and a physical manner. Man create his own monster Weapons of damnation and disaster No sign at all of human rights The day has turned into night Is racialism so And segregation so Which way Some of these things that I read, it's very important for us to be able to differentiate in terms of some of these things. And it is so appropriate that in all the sayings, Allah says, I wonder how, I wonder how a person, I wonder how people, I wonder how a folk, I wonder how persons, I wonder how a person, you know, and we are in our country right now, and in many, I mean, we've been hearing a lot of different things that are happening. They are saying it's a lot of climate change, a lot of disasters, a lot of floods. Venice in Italy is flooded, over flooded, um, and you know, California had a big fire going. There was a fire in Hollywood. And all these things are happening, earthquakes and floods and so on. And therefore, we have people who claim to be our protectors and our providers who are definitely not competent enough to help out in those situations. You know, have you ever heard of a, a head of state stopping a hurricane or stopping an earthquake or stopping these disasters, some of these disasters that they term as being natural disasters. What I'm just trying to show is that they are all, we are all from the family of humans. There are those of us who believe, there are those of us who do not believe. And I'm not speaking of believing in any specific religion, but believing that we come from a creation created by a creator. And there are those who do not believe that. Well, it shouldn't really bother the believing men and women. For Allah tells us, to you, your religion, to me, mine. To you, your way, to me, mine. Because there are different cultures and different ways of worshiping our Creator. But what is irritating are those who profess that they are competent and capable of doing what we believe in what we have faith. 
we have faith in a God. And then there are those who pretend as if they are going to carry out the duties as God has prescribed. And that is why some of these sayings are very important. I wonder at a person who is knowledgeable in his speech, but ignorant in his heart. And we, as believing men and women, we are not looking for people like that to be in any form a shepherd that can look after the sheep. I wonder at a person who preaches to the people but does not preach to his own soul. That's another type that we're not interested in. We don't I wonder at a person who knows that Almighty God is aware of his actions, but he still continues to commit a sin. Another type that we're not looking for. We already have three types, and, and I can go on, the types that we are not looking for. So brothers and sisters, as we decide for we need to be able to have changes that only God knows about. And the people who are to bring about these changes must be servants of Almighty God, at least for those of us who believe. I wonder at a person who cleanses his skin with water but does not cleanse his heart. When you have people like that, all we have is confusion, confusion, discrimination, corruption. Brothers, the truth and sisters, the truth is the truth and nothing but the truth. So help me God. Breaking down is a whole big run around. A lot of talk is what goes on. While the world is left to mourn. Starvation taking toll. Weapons out of control. The atmosphere is cold. Oh, so cold. Oh, no. Tell me, what about love, thy neighbor? Tell me, what about he and Terry? He's my brother. Nobody cares a damn anymore. All they got on their mind is war. war. Tell me, what about? Equal rights and justice Tell me What about peace and happiness Hey They're making new laws every